So I get this question all question question all the time. I'm skinny fat. Should I bulk or should I cut? What should I do? People slide into my DMs on a pretty regular basis. I would say at least every week, probably four to five times a week, asking me, I'm skinny fat. Help me, give me some free unsolicited advice. So here is some free unsolicited advice for everyone so I can just send you this video when you ask me. So let's say you are 18, 20, 22, maybe 25% body fat, and you have very little muscle. You are skinny fat. People always ask me, should I bulk or should I cut? Well, I would say do neither of those. Those both suck. Both of those suck in your situation for two totally different reasons. Bulking sucks because you're just going to get even fatter and your goal physique is almost certainly leaner than you are right now. So let's say you are 22% body fat and your goal physique is 14% body fat. Well, you probably don't want to go up to 30% body fat because one, that has health risks. Two, you could get skin stretching. And three, it's just going to feel bad and you're going to get sad and probably mad as well if I tell you to do that. So don't go into a dreamer bulk. Don't go into a thousand calorie surplus. The majority of that weight gained will be fat. Plus, if you're skinny fat, you probably already have pretty poor dietary habits anyway. And therefore, that is a very slippery and long and dangerous and hurtful road. Now, you also can't cut because you don't really have any muscle and there's nothing to cut down to said where you're working with somebody who their long-term goal involves a lot of muscle gain and fat loss and they say i'm really enthusiastic about gut cutting first and i say that's okay but we need to be prepared for that moment when we look in the mirror and say i thought i would i thought i ordered shredded but i received skinny and that's Refund. usually <laughs> yeah you can't carve a pebble there's just not enough mass to actually polish so Typically, if you are skinny fat and you cut, you will look even worse when you cut. You'll just be straight up skinny and you will look emaciated. Plus, during your beginning phase of training, the newbie gains is definitely a real thing. And if you are in a very large deficit, you kind of are pissing those away. You're kind of limiting yourself in terms of strength gains, in terms of size gains, in terms of building up your overall physique, and you're just wasting time. You're just pissing away time you're pissing into the wind and the wind is not going in a favorable direction so you can't bulk because you'll just get fat you can't cut because there's nothing to cut down to what do i do just tell me what to do god damn it tell me what calories to eat well you don't worry about that you don't worry about how many calories you are consuming you eat around maintenance plus 200 calories minus 200 calories honestly it doesn't fucking matter now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this, but if you are a beginner, you can gain so much goddamn muscle that that much muscle gained will actually eclipse everything else. You'll gain muscle so quickly that it will actually cause you to lose fat around maintenance, aka a recomp, similar to a main gaining strategy. You don't have to worry about bulking or cutting. You can just eat instinctively, keep around the same body weight, or maybe push it up a little bit, and you will lose fat during that process. It's awesome. I am insanely jealous of you because as a more advanced lifter, I can't really do that. So if you think your life is tough and you're a beginning skinny fat lifter, it's not. It's literally the easiest part of your training career. You can gain muscle, lose fat, gain crazy amounts of strength very quickly. If your program is optimal, you work hard and you are consistent. So I hear a lot of people bitching. I'll just say it. They're, they're just bitching that they're skinny fat, whereas that is an awesome place to be in terms of progress. You can see progress week to week, visually, in terms of strength, in terms of weights on the bar, in terms of everything. So take advantage of it and realize you're in actually a pretty good place. Some other quick tips. I did a full video on this up above. High protein, at least uh, I would say close to a gram per pound, maybe slightly less. Uh, plenty of sleep, low stress, compound movements, working your ass off, good program, getting stronger, not getting distracted by V-Shred ads, just the basics, you know, the basic stuff that everyone should follow. And throughout this process, in the first year to two years of training, assess yourself on a pretty regular basis. Am I eating enough? Am I eating too much? Am I eating the right foods? Am I getting enough protein? Am I getting in enough sleep? Am I progressing in weight? Am I cutting too much? Am I bulking too much? Eat around maintenance, but you still have to be pretty active in the process but you also don't have to overthink it. So that's my answer. Hope you like it, like the video, all the, all the good stuff, and I'll see you 
in the next video. Peace! So you're a bit skinny fat, that means you want a solution. Some absolution, the drastic lack of absolutions. You want to gain a bustle of muscle and lose slabs of fat. Get jack pack stacked and shredded to get bedded. Should I bulk? Should I cut? I seem to be in a rut. Well, you're in luck. Just recomp. Uh, oh, uh, recomp. Uh, yeah, uh, recomp. Yeah, okay, I'm done.